If you checked out part one of our vlog, you'll know that myself and Paul Walsh hey, hey. are traveling across America. We're vlogging the states that we're visiting ahead of our US summer tour. So far, we've been to LA. Now, we're in Nashville, the home of country music. Again, we don't know what we're gonna be doing out here. We've got 24 hours, one day only, to figure it out. We are starting our Nashville journey here at Nashville's Goo Goo store. City fan is president, been going for 105 years or something. Gonna go in and have a chat. Hey Lance, how's it going? Right, <laughs> sorry, just from this camera on you. I'm yeah, sorry. Right. Welcome to Nashville. <laughs> What's it like being Nashville's very own Willy Wonka? You know what? <laughs> Surprisingly not bad. So you make chocolate and you're a city fan. Right, yeah. I had a baby girl in 2007 with my wife and I was sort of in charge of weekend duty. And so I started to watch the games on the telly because I'd be up Saturday morning at 7, 6, 7 in the morning when you're broadcasting to the States. Yeah. And I was sort of pulled in by the players from City. I went to my first match 2013 at Wembley. I went to Barcelona at the New Camp. City played at Yankee Stadium against Liverpool. They have um, such a rich history of, of the, what I would consider the right musicians liking the team. And if you ask me my favorite city players, I'll probably tell you like Johnny Marr. That symmetry from the club and from Manchester music scene, that was sort of the, the final straw for me that kind of really pushed me into that arena. Nashville doesn't have its own MLS team. We're about to meet two guys who want to change all that. They're petitioning to get their own franchise and they want to build a stadium on this side. Essentially, you guys want to bring the MLS to Nashville. Why? What's that all about? The enthusiasm for the sport here among youth is just enormous. Uh, we've both got children. We can see it uh, every day in our personal lives. 40,000 people came to the uh, the New Zealand-Mexico game in October, and then the U.S.-Guatemala game the year before had 45. There's a big demand. We, we, we want to see more soccer here. There'll be huge enthusiasm, huge enthusiasm for Man City should they arrive here. We're on our way to a place which uh, Lance has told us is the best place in Nashville for barbecue. Only problem is Walsh is a vegetarian. What are you going to eat, pal? I'm just going to smell the food. Hey, Martin. Welcome to Nashville. Welcome to Martin. Just looks like Noel Gallagher dancing. <laughs> this sounds pretty authentic. The honky tonks are done. Now we're on our way to meet a city fan called Bill, who is uh, trying to get the supporters group going out here in Nashville. My name is Bill Doherty, and uh, I've been a city supporter for about 10 years. Rolling with the good and the bad, and loving every minute of it. What would it mean to you if city was to play out here in Nashville? It would mean everything. Whenever those summer friendlies come around, there's always that willingness to go, okay, where am I booking my ticket to this year to fly to a match to see city? And if it's in your backyard, it's it's even better. And couch is wide open for anyone that comes in <laughs> if Nashville is selected. You willing to take a few cities? Fans in, are you? I'll take them all in. <laughs> it would be something special to come to a city that city's never been to. You know, you've done LA, you've done New York, you've done all the usuals, but to come to Music City and, and really open up uh, to a fan base that is looking for their Premier League team would be a, a perfect opportunity. I had an email from a guy that works here called JK Robbins, who's a city fan. I'm just gonna randomly ask for him, the poor guy. So we just thought we can stalk him from where he works, which is at the Johnny Cash Museum, which is pretty cool in itself. I think with a name like JK, he's gonna be wearing a Stetson. You can only hope. You found it! <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. He nailed it. I find myself in New York City during the World Cup in 2010. Watch the whole entire World Cup and just waking up at 7 o'clock in the morning and going to a pub full of rowdy 
people was amazing. And the energy that you could feel from these fans, like you could taste it. And from there on, I've been a City fan since. I, I picked a great team to follow. <laughs> it's been electrifying seeing that QPR game and just the reaction around the world that day. Can't really put it into words. You just have to go back and watch that video again and again and again. What would it mean for you to be able to see City play in Nashville, in your hometown? To see that come to my hometown, uh, it'd basically be like watching Aguero win. To see that, to see this team come to my my neck of the woods would be huge. Yeah. Uh, yeah. by taking in a ice hockey game. We're gonna watch the Nashville Predators. We might give you a little look around. You know, I love playing with them on uh, on FIFA way back when. I just always followed them through that. And now I've just always been a City fan. Yaya Torre has been my favorite player for, for years and years. Love that guy. If City ended up playing out here in Nashville, uh, would you go? I traveled all the way to London from uh, Budapest when I was working there to see uh, City play Chelsea in uh, 2014 when they, they finished 1-2 there. It was, uh, what, Frankie Lampard's last game in Stamford Bridge when he was playing for City. I got a little history with him. And, uh, <gasps> Bring me Jesus, bring me Jesus to play. That's who I want, <laughs> that's who I want to see. There's so many City fans out here who deserve to see the Blues and they're going to see them some epic matchups. It's going to be amazing. Well, we have loved it. It's been absolutely incredible and we cannot wait to see you guys too. Mwah.